One of the reason why you have landed on this video is that you were not able to see the 64-bit option while you must be installing any other operating system. You must be using VirtualBox or maybe VMware, but you must be thinking that I'm only able to see the 32-bit operating system. The solution for that is we are going to see that into this video. So let's get started. So I'm continuously pressing F11, uh, which is the default option. It is different in all the other systems. It might be F10 or might be F12 or might be F1. Uh, but since this is the AMD processor, so you can see that uh, here is the option. We are seeing that Windows Boot Manager and second one is Enter Setup. You're going to have to go ahead with the option of Enter Setup. Click Enter and then you will see something like this. And you will see a lot of options right here. And here you can see that you have settings, you have overclock options and you have amp flash. Sometimes you're going to have to see onto the top right and you will see the advanced settings if you are not able to see this screen on the first time and then you will be able to see this screen. Here you're going to have to click on overclock settings and here you're going to have to uh, find an option something which says advanced CPU configuration. So you're going to have to click over here and you will find here something which says SVM mode. So this is called as secure virtualization methodology and you're going to have to enable it. You can see that right now even I have taken a new computer which is why it is disabled and you're going to have to click here and you will see two options which says disabled and enable. So you're going to have to click on enable and then you're going to have to close it down. And then you'll see an option which says SVA mode disabled to enable. You're going to have to accept this very carefully. Don't miss this part. And then you're going to have to click on yes. And then you'll see that in some of the time your system will start running. And the option is exactly same for the laptops as well. You're going to have to go into the BIOS settings and then you're going to have to navigate to the advanced that must be onto the top right into the BIOS screen. And there you're going to have to enable the virtualization technology. You'll see the option something which says virtualization technology. And then you'll be able to see the 64-bit option once again. So let's wait for a while and then let's go ahead and try the VirtualBox uh, methodology in order to see that if we are able to see the 64-bit option right now or not. So I have started my system. So let me go ahead and open up my VirtualBox machine. Uh, so here's the manager of VirtualBox and I'm about to click on new. And let's go ahead and see if I'm able to see the 64-bit option of Kali. Though looking at here, I'm already able to see the 64-bit version of Windows 7. So let's name this as Kali. And if I select the option of Linux, so you can see that Debian 64-bit is right here. Earlier, I was not able to see the option of 64-bit uh, and this could happen with the VMware as well and with the VBox as well. So this is the methodology that you need to apply. And tomorrow we are going to come up with a brand new video, a quick walkthrough about the latest Kali Linux 2022.2 which is released just a day back. So that's it for today's video. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Till then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for more such of informative videos.